Those are all real dinosaur fossils. Look at that. Oh my word. This is absolutely blowing my mind. Like, that bone right there is probably as big as me. <laughs> it's huge. And this entire hillside is just completely covered like a giant graveyard. This is crazy. Like, oh look, there's a whole skull. Look at that. No way. There's the whole head, the neck, and the teeth, and the skull. That is crazy. Just for scale, look, like there's people down there standing right by that leg bone. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> it's as big as him. Holy smokes. Look at this tail. Can you imagine being like an ancient an aboriginal person or indigenous person and like finding something like this laying on the ground. <laughs> you would be like, there are dragons. There's giant dragons. <coughs> Look, that's the whole spinal column, the back. There's the hip and the leg coming off the back. And there's like a whole other... Wow. This is bonkers. So now think about this, next time you're hiking and you see a hillside that just looks like this, just like a mud hill, about four feet under the surface of that could be a bunch of that, a bunch of dinosaur bones, a crazy mystery. <laughs> that is something about the adventure of this life that it is awesome and keeps me going, is that what's just around the next corner, what's right under the surface, what's hiding right underneath our feet? That little edge of mystery, what is right beyond the edge of our perception of reality and what we can see is truly fascinating. And you never know what you're gonna find. You never know what new discovery could change history, rewrite history forever. And uh, so it's really cool to get out and explore it and come to places like this. I'm excited uh, after here to go out to the ancient petroglyphs here and then be like, wow, there is 
people living here, right? I mean, during the Ice Age, during the Stone Age, and going back in 300 AD, and, and they were probably finding all of this stuff up here. See, like this is the same hillside. You've got, you've got the regular dirt hill that you would like hike over all the time on a regular Saturday. But right underneath the surface, if you could dig, is a giant dinosaur graveyard. Wow. And this is a young one. Look at that. This is a real bone. This is real. It's not some plaster cast. You can see it. Dinosaurs were real. <laughs> that is not a myth. I mean, this is the proof right here. They just built a glass museum over the top of this hillside and underneath the dirt. Dinosaurs. With the head still attached. I mean, just wow. Look at that. There's even signs that say, look, you can touch real dinosaur bones, so it's okay. Look at that. Holy smokes. Crazy. It's like the Flintstones, right? Crazy. I mean, that's just crazy to me. I can't imagine finding that buried in the ground. <laughs> oh, wow. Self-guided book lift. This tour will take you to Petroglyphs, Views of the Green River, and Josie Morris's homestead cabin. You can pick up a booklet in the visitor center. There are also several hiking trails to explore. Ask a ranger for information on monument hiking trails. During the heat of the summer, hiking is safest in the early morning or evening when temperatures are cooler. Always carry water when exploring Dinosaur National Monument. We'll see how far we get on this hike today. We just went through the Dinosaur National Monument Museum and now we are going to a spot called the Swelter Shelter. <laughs> 